Morning, even afternoon, we got a banger for you today, baby. We did a little test a little while back called Tim the Tap Man Solo Adventures. A little bit of a new series where essentially not only do I spectate, but essentially I play the game out as long as I can until I die, which then I begin to spectate. There's some positive feedback on that, so we decided to do a part two. So what we got for you here is my second ever Tim the Tap Man Solo Adventures. If you enjoy this content, a little bit different, and you're liking this style of video, be sure to drop a like, share it with a friend, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you've not yet, but most importantly, be sure to tell somebody you love them. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. I have no idea where I'm about to go land. Uh, I guess I'm gonna pick like this building or something. So I did this, I did this the other day, and uh, it was a lot of fun, and a little bit different than just spectating. Basically, it's like you play and you run around until yeah that's not that's not gonna end well for you bud uh you basically if you're on it guys i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm gonna f you know that so much for this adventure shut up chat Going on down here. Gentlemen! Ah! I'm alive! You all thought the adventure was gonna be over already, huh? He of little faith gotta believe oh my god take the tap man's wall hack it <laughs> oh that's good I gotta push him. I gotta push him. He's weak. This is my moment. Peek me. I, honestly, I respect that you egoed that with me. That was a good guy right there. I respect that. We just both were like, you know what, dude? Let's settle this mano e mano. Thankfully, I came out on top. Uh, everyone's just, this is so nice that everyone's just rotating down this way. Very convenient gameplay. Totally organic, by the way. What did you say to me over here, vehicle? You think I'm afraid of you? I don't know how to handle this kind of car, bitch. Let's dance then. Hey! Pull over! load out on a solo adventure a solo adventure i'm gonna go get my load out on my solo adventure today solo adventures with timmy we're gonna pop uav first because i want to be safe looking good i now can't buy a loadout and i want to bash my head against the wall and here we are well that's family feud let me get uh Oh, this dude's on my loady. L. Plus ratio, plus why did I go backwards, plus I'm holding forward. I hate that I can't, like, I can't see. I want to see where I'm going. <sighs> we made it. I'm the demon of this lobby. And I'm about to show y'all why. This 
guy in the road? Where's this guy? On my left. What are you doing? Bitch. What? What? I gotta get this thing sighted! Tim, stop tunnel visualing. No. I am a demon. Out of my way. Thing you said you're a demon. He didn't even break his armor. Homie, the Owen is so much better. Oh my god. This is the guy that killed me, bro. What in fucking tarnation? How did that fight just last that long? Dude, that guy killed me in three seconds. Not even, dude. He killed me in like a second and a half. And he just fought that guy for like the amount of time that I could run a mile. And I can run a fast mile. I ran like a 13 minute mile in high school. Oh, God, here we go. This is, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. This guy's got 72 bullets and he hit four of them in three seconds on me. Who's this guy? Wait, you're not the one. Guys, I ran a pretty fast mile, okay, dude? 13 minutes. Well, this is the second time we've had the solo adventures with Timmy. I don't know how you all are feeling right now. I'm a little tilted. Dude, I was moving. I should have just kept that Owen and grabbed Ghost off Rip, bro. Literally, that Owen was frying. No, no, I'm resorting to spectating in our solo adventure part two here. Be sure to drop a like if you made it this far. If this is another one out of 10 video, I'm just gonna keep doing it this way. And low key, bro, it should have been a much better adventure, dude, because I got landed on and I had to burn my gulag right at the start. L plus ratio. Tim, I can still tell you're bald with your cap on. Thanks, guys. Tim, I can walk an eight minute mile. No, you can't. M4A1 probably still hits so hard, bro. I feel like all the Cold War and Modern Warfare guns, too. Ooh, nice little movement. That kind of came out of nowhere, bro. What the frick? This dude was like running into walls and all of a sudden he pulls that off. It was kind of lit, bro. This guy's just spamming Pop-Tart over and over again in the chat. To be honest with you, Pop-Tart, I love Pop-Tarts. I love toasting a good little Pop-Tart, put a little butter on there, like double down on it. You know what I'm saying? You're getting aimed at from your left, you're getting aimed at. Nope, and that's the end of that. But yeah, guys, uh, Pop-Tarts, most goaded Pop-Tart. Ready? Hot take. Unfrosted strawberry. Toast it, put a little butter on it, and shove it up your ass. It's unreal. Ah. Switch not television psychotic. It's psych. He's not gonna play, and you're just gonna run in there. Just, you knew, you knew they were fighting in there. Are you serious? Yeah, let's get that. Let's get that Swiss. Let's pick up that. Sw just going back in the corner. Yeah, okay, it's your call. Can you get the Swiss in that in that MP40? Oh my God, please pick that Swiss up. Why are you even willingly using that sniper rifle when you have that Swiss in front of you? Grunge, are you trolling me right now? Well, that makes sense. You're not going to kill this guy with this thing. You're not going to kill him. Dude, pick the Swiss up. Bro, you're not going to get a kill with You know what? You deserve what's happening. I could run a mile in the time you can ADS with an anti-tank rifle. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is the psychotic guy coming back. Oh, dude, I have like a pinched nerve in my neck. Ow! Oh, I need to like, I need someone to press their elbow into my, into my collarbone right now, literally. Someone, someone just is spamming that toaster shootles are better than Pop-Tarts in my chat, and that's just the biggest L I've ever seen. You're gonna put TTV in your name, and you're gonna have Dark Matter on a Swiss. And you're gonna lose to a fight. Are we really losing to this guy? JJP, JJGPGH, that's the one that brings us down there? This is the guy that brings down the TTV legend? 
this guy's just confident as shit standing in the water and everyone's just doesn't know what to do. How is this strategy working? He's standing in the center of a river. Hey bro, get that Swiss, it's lit, trust. Dark matter, dark matter, dark matter. You just don't want the Swiss? Okay, I'll go fuck myself. Yeah, it's a peanut butter cream cheese bagel, man. I'm telling you guys, it's unbelievable. And just to be clear, like peanut butter, I'm sorry, like cream cheese and like strawberry jelly, or no, I prefer jam. That's also incredible, but there's something about the cream cheese and peanut butter combo on a bagel that goes crazy. Keep the pressure on. I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you. Try it. Try it. Let me know. Let me know what you think. This guy's name is Seven. His clan tag is Seven, and he has one kill. Would have been really funny if he had seven kills. Oh, here we are towards the end of. Oh, he sprayed a heart. That's nice. Here we are towards the end of spectating adventures. Well, actually not spectating. Sorry. Tim the Tatman solo adventures part two. I personally re reflecting on this game. Okay. I feel robbed. I do because I had the dude land on me after I got in a gunfight and he knew it and he was stream sniping and he sent me to gulag and I had to burn my gulag early and then I was immediately at a disadvantage and then I got torched by the Owen bro. Like, holy frick. Timmy died fast because you didn't have EOD. Dude had incendiary and it deletes you if you don't run EOD. That actually is kind of true. I did not have EOD in that own. Fuck me. Well, Seven, I think we've come to a crossroads here on our adventure with you, buddy. I think you're going to be uh, eliminated. Well, here I am thinking this guy's going to die and he's... Oh, you're right. I would... Huge. Great. You know this guy's top. You do have those sandbags in front of you, which is a great little heady you can sit on. It's 1v1v1. You know this guy is like Southwest 240-ish. You know that. So, okay, crawling in. I like that. I like that. We, we don't know where the other solo is. That's the biggest issue. I think, personally, he's going to be on his left, like over there. Actually, he'll probably be on the right from the water on the other side. If I'm in this position, I'm peeking the guy across the field to make sure he's not pushing me right now. Oh, this is huge now. Oh my God. Are we gonna win seven? <gasps> All right, don't choke, bro. Just don't choke. Oh my God, this dude has no idea where he is. Oh my God, zone pulled away from you. Okay, this is bad. I'd wrap left into zone, left into zone, use your gas mask to get a good rotation. You're gonna go right across the open field. Holy shit. Uh, nice try. That was an NT. Uh, that push was crazy. I think you go left because you got the wall over there too. He could have wrapped into the gas along the wall. And I think that would have been a much safer play. That was kind of a, that was a crazy push at the end there, bro. He literally just like pushed straight into the open. I, I gotta, I gotta give him credit. A lot of confidence. So I'll give him that. GG though. Good game. Good solo adventure part two. If you want more of this, where I play a little bit and then spectate solo adventures. Drop a like and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell.